Hi guys, it's Fraser here from TalentonLexProShop.com. We've got a product video of the Burton Rampant Snowball Boot from 2013. This boot retails at $179.99 and it is Burton's lightest boot this year. Um, so a few features on the boot. Start at the bottom. The EST sole is made of Dynalite, so it's a super light material. It really does keep the weight down on this boot. Um, it just weighs nothing. There's B3 gel inserts, which are just here. Um, these are just dampeners. So obviously if you're coming down off a heavy landing, they're going to be nice and soft underfoot. Traditional lacing system, bright orange laces. It does come with some plain orange ones as well, but these look pretty cool. So with the lacing system, um, obviously in the side there's a flex notch, which you can see just here, made of neoprene. Just allows the boot to flex nicely without it distorting along the sides. Um, along the side, you're going to see there's this flex rod here, it's called crossbone. This um, flex rod is what they use in their high end boards. It actually just gives the boot a bit more pop. Obviously once it does compress, it's going to spring back to where it wants to start out. Super, super light. Cannot tell you that enough. So, inside the boot, Imprint 2 liner. It comes with some J-bars on the outside to give you a real good heel hold. Uh, and some man fur on the top. Okay, It just uh, keeps you nice and, nice and warm. Heat moldable liner, just obviously going to give you a really good fit out of the box. There's Velcro closure on the top of the tongue just to keep it in position. And the tongue is really nice and thick. Um, just gives you that extra bit of comfort on the shins. Uh, basic footbeds, not much to this. It has got some shape to it, so it's going to hold your heel nicely. Um, holes in there as well, just so your feet aren't going to sweat and get really, really hot in those warm spring days. Uh, inside of the boot, there is the ankle cradle. This ankle cradle holds your foot in the liner and the liner in the boot. So it's not like two separate boots within each other that can move. They just pin it down and hold it. So this boot, you can kind of see, super light. It's going to be a good park boot. Um, early intermediate, intermediate. A few advanced users, you want to probably go for a little stiffer boot, if not the hail, if you're looking for the park. Um, but yeah, it's a good bit of kit. And we can't do that one. I don't know how much it costs.